Welcome back to Let's Play Apotheon. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I see a couple of locked doors here in this map. Which is good, because we're seeking the, uh, the door that was sealed with the sigil of the Necromancer. I noticed a thing. Just want to... Where was that? You're really gonna have to speak up, because the fire is very loud. So yeah, that isn't really a thing. Now I miss a touch of skin. <laughs> it misses you too. That's not as cutting a comeback as I thought it would be. Oh, hell. Man, forget this place. guy diving off a cliff. Uh oh, leg. Let us... Wait. The door right here. I'm starting to say, I noticed the thing on the loading screen. Use the inventory menu to change the look of your armor. I have 82 armor right now. I want to check something. This is the crappest armor I can possibly get. You know what? I'll just, uh... Okay, so 126 maximum armor. If I change it back to this one... Interesting! You can just stick with the ones you like the look of best. I go back to the ridiculous skull cap. Should really look into the other ones. All I ever find are helmets and bracers for some reason. Still in the leather tunic, for God's sake. I wonder what that's about. Well, one of the locked doors is just above me here. Skeletons, and I see another one at my feet. Oh, good. Yes, eat them. Who wants a bone? Good boy. Nice socks. There's a lot of vertical movement in this game that makes the, uh, the wolf non-ideal a lot. No! I need to find me a weapon that can kill these motherfuckers. Hey! New pants! Speak of the devil, and the devil's pants appear. Huh. 
That would have been more amusing if I could. Well, fuck you too, then. Get out of my way. If I could, uh, hold a, uh, melee weapon over my head without letting go. You know, the way you can when you're throwing a spear or whatever. I don't think that was supposed to happen that way. Where the fuck am I? Hello? Achievement unlocked from the grave. Meet the Necromancer in Hades. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Rise from your grave and avenge us. Hello, William. Whoa. Bone dust recipe. Powdered human bones, fragments of serpent teeth, and graveyard dirt make a forbidden necromantic spell able to raise long dead warriors. I think I have that already. He just gave it to me instead of selling it to me. Uh, thank you. I will put these to good use. Wise from your grave. Oh, for fuck's sake. I think I've been to Leafy. Oh, I'm sealed now. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, it's almost broken. Get over here, you little shit. Smashed the man instead of the shield. Oh well, that works too. Let's get out of here. Oh god. Maybe I could just knock. That'd be alright. Touch the warmth again. Okay, that's not ideal. Yes. Yep. How I miss the touch of skin. No, he's down there, I don't care. Let him be weird, but he's oh god damn it, I need to go down there. No, he just wandered off. I can feel the water. <laughs> over oh yeah, that's how you do the overhand one. Holding up. Oh, god damn it. Another loading screen tip mentioned that, uh... Sorry, I'm just a little bit distracted at the moment. need to make those, anyway. Human bone, milk of moly root. Great. Well, I have one of those, thanks to these skeletons, so they don't drop them very often. I do. And 
everyone wants a fucking piece of this. This is problematic. Opposite Greaves, Lixer of Vigor, Olympian Darts. And we're running. does not make me smile. Then she caused a most dreadful and cruel year for mankind over the all-nourishing earth. The ground would not make the seed sprout, for rich-crowned Demeter kept it hidden. In the fields the oxen drew many a curved plow in vain, and much white barley was cast upon the land without avail. So she would have destroyed the whole race of man with cruel famine, and have robbed them who dwell on Olympus of their glorious right of gifts and sacrifices. For she vowed that she would never set foot on fragrant Olympus, nor let fruit spring out of the ground, until she beheld with her own eyes, or with her eyes, her own fair-faced daughter, Homeric M. II to Demeter. So there's a thing in Greek mythology, if you're not familiar with it. Uh... Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades are brothers. Uh, Zeus led the, more or less, insurrection that led to the overthrow of the Titans, so he was named King of the Gods. And when it came time to split up the Earth, uh, Zeus gained mastery over the sky, which is why he has the power of lightning. Poseidon gained mastery over the sea, and Hades is left with the underworld, which was, uh, which he very much considered the short end of the stick. Uh, because, you know, he's down there all the time. He's pretty much alone in terms of godly company. And he's always dealing with the dead, who are kind of whiny. You know, so he's a lonely bastard down there. And it, uh, one day he just wanders out of the underworld, and he beholds Persephone, who is, as far as he's concerned, the most beautiful woman he's ever seen. I don't remember exactly how it worked. He tricked her into uh, eating a fruit. I remember that. And there was a representation with the seeds. I think the number of seeds in the fruit she ate represented... I think it, was, it wasn't like in the agreement or whatever. It's like he tricked her into eating this fruit and then basically kidnapped her down to the underworld. And when Demeter complained about it to Zeus, uh, he was told about the fruit, and he said, I'll tell you what, for each of the seeds that she ate, that's a month she has to stay in the underworld of Hades every year. And apparently I had it backwards, by the way. Uh, the months where she stays in Hades aren't uh, the winter months where nothing grows. And everything is, you know, it, you know, I thought it was because Demeter was sad and despondent. The months where she, where Persephone is forced to stay in Hades are the summer months. Because in Greece, the summer is a hot, merciless motherfucker. People die. 
and uh, the idea is that Demeter is beside herself with rage, and the land heats up as a result. Everything burns hotter. I'll say this, it isn't very often in the myths that you hear about the gods screwing each other over, but here's, uh, good old, uh, Zeus saying, eh, he can keep her in Hades if he wants. Craft a bunch of shit. Mmm, delicious. novel once about some people who accidentally get stranded on an alien planet and one of them names Dub is the planet uh, well I thought all these years that it was Cositus but uh, apparently it's Cocytus which as he says is one of the rivers in hell and the others, you kind of give him shit for that, because it's a very bleak thing to name this planet they're stuck on. And he says he's trying to be optimistic, because they're in a very bad situation. But I, I think it was he was basing it on uh, the interpretation in Dante's Inferno, which would have been a very long time after the ancient Greek myths were written. But uh, I think in that version, the river... Kokaitis was the one that held a uh, path back to the surface world. Kokaitis is the path home. Something tells me that is not the case here. Why does it have a pulley there? Okay. Shit is going to get real, so let's get a uh, strong weapon out. How's this? Eh. You see, one screen only shows the durability and one of them only shows the damage. So, you know, I would have preferred both. Let's go with the Doris. What's the other one for? Oh, hello there. That one guy is stuck in there, and that's kind of funny. But you can do it. Come on, sickle man. I'm very proud of you. Oh, that guy could probably get me through the boat. I could remember any of the details about Kokaitis, this would probably be a lot more... What the hell? Shit. No, not a lot more shit. Uh, a lot more meaningful to have all these dudes climbing on board. Oh, fuck, I broke one. Embarrassing. Oh, God. You can't loop around, I've learned that. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh god, gotta get them all on one side. No, I can't. Oh, 
Oh god. Where is it? No, it's over the top. Here it is. Fuck all of you. Here's our weapon. Fuck it. Everybody gets to die. Fuck it, Zephos. Oh, thank Christ. Huh. Well, that'll about do it for this episode. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Apotheon. With all the rivers traversed, though this is really the only one where I did that, I guess we have a date. A dinner date, I should say, with Hades and Persephone. Here's hoping the, uh, I can use the bitterness of the god of the underworld against his brother. See you next time, guys. Later.